Hey, this is Leif Ganford. I played the cash register thief in The Amazing Spider-Man, and you're listening to the Everything Geek Podcast. Hey, this is Rich McDonald, and I play Commander David Mason on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And you're listening to Everything Geek Podcast. Hello, I'm Simon Fisherbecker. You probably know me better as Dorian Moldavar from Doctor Who, or the Fat Friar from Harry Potter. And this is Everything Geek Podcast. Your attention, masters, mistresses. All systems functional for the Everything Geek Podcast. Hey, it's James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Master Poe Cool in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you're listening to Everything Geek, the podcast. Jackpot with the Everything Geek Podcast. Hello everyone, this is Rory Williamson of the Everything Geek Podcast and joining me here at London Film and Comic Con is a very special guest. We have producer Gary Kurtz, best known as the producer of Star Wars Episode 4 and New Hope, Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back, The Dark Crystal, Friends and Heroes, executive producer on Return to Oz, and the co-producer on American Graffiti. Gary, how are you? Fine, fine. Very nice to be here. Great. Are you enjoying the event so far? Yes, uh, very much. I I only get to attend uh, a few of these events around the world, and it's wonderful to be able to meet a lot of the fans uh, uh, and, and talk with them during these events. That's great, and I know you do a lot of the Showmasters events because you run a company with the organizer, Jason Joyner. For those who aren't familiar with the Kurtz Joyner Archive, do you want to talk a little bit about that before we get into your career? All right. Um, the archive is really just a collection of a, of a lot of uh, artifacts and paperwork from not only the original Star Wars films, but also a lot of other science fiction and fantasy-oriented material that we've been able to assemble over the years. I haven't yet found a, a venue to be able to show it, uh, but that's in the works. Great, great. I look forward to hearing more information on that. For our listeners who may not be familiar with your background as much, can you tell us how did you decide you wanted to become a producer? Well, I, I started out in film school as a uh, director, cameraman, and editor, and in a lot of the low-budget films that I was making with Roger Corman and other low-budget producers in the 60s, the production side was the weakest link, and I found that I could hire someone else as a cameraman who was as good or better than I was, but the production side was uh, not so good. So I started becoming a production manager and assistant director and and, uh, then later became a producer out of that. It's very interesting. Going on to Star Wars, you decided to leave Star Wars after being a producer on the first two films after you felt George Lucas started to become more focused on making it more upbeat and so they could make more merchandise. Looking back on it, do you have any regrets about leaving? And if you had stayed, do you think you could have convinced George to continue with the original story for Return of the Jedi? Um, I don't really have any regrets uh about leaving, I felt that the the focus and the energy shifted a lot uh, when George wanted to change the the story for uh, 
uh, for Return of the Jedi, and uh, he um, uh, he was the one that owned the the rights and and could decide to do what he wanted to do. He did want to make uh, make a more um, positive uh, film, and probably after Indiana Jones uh, decided that the audience was liked the whole idea of the roller coaster ride as as opposed to a heavy dramatic story. It's very interesting. Thank you for that. Even though you ended up having no involvement with the prequels and the upcoming films, do you remember any story details you might have been told on what the prequels and sequels were originally going to be about? Well, originally there weren't going to be any any films beyond the first Star Wars film. There was a lot of notes and material that George had, had jotted down and that had, over the various drafts had created that we extracted material for for the first film. So there was a lot there, uh, random kinds of story material that uh, could always have been used. So it was uh, uh, part of that was used when George made the prequels and uh, but there weren't any specific things aside from the fact that the whole idea of the prequels was going to be about uh, where Darth Vader came from. That was about it. And uh, so, as far as uh, stories beyond the end of, of uh, Jedi, there was a vague idea that it would be interesting to carry Luke's character on beyond that at some point. But it uh, wasn't really uh, formulated at that time at all. Okay, thanks for that information. I heard that it was you who came up with the title for The Empire Strikes Back, which is now widely considered as the best Star Wars film. Is this true, and how did you come up with the title? Uh, yes, I did. It, it, uh, it was a um, press conference or, and interviews that we were doing to promote the original film, and by this time uh, Fox had announced that they wanted to do a sequel, and, and so uh, I was asked at the press conference what we were calling it, and I said I, I didn't like uh, numbers on films, and so they, they were referring to it as Star Wars 2, I said no, we don't, we're not going to call it Star Wars 2, it's going to be something out of a B movie from the 50s, you know, something like The Empire Strikes Back. So, uh, and that just stuck. Wow, that's very interesting. Finally, do you have any upcoming producing works or anything else coming up that you would like to talk about? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on two films that we're developing and, and going into production within China, but they're not really early enough to talk about yet, but they should be uh, in production next year. Thank you for your time. So that was our interview with producer Gary Kurtz. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. So make sure to check out our podcast links. Check out our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash everythinggeekpodcast. Check out our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash everythinggeekcast. Check us out on Twitter, twitter.com slash everythinggeekp. Check us out on Instagram, instagram.com slash official everything geek podcast check out our mixcloud profile www.mixcloud.com slash everything geek podcast email us at the below email everything geek podcast at gmail.com check out our companion podcast everything geek comic cast www.facebook.com slash everything geek comic cast make sure to check out the host's youtube channels Mine is www.youtube.com slash user slash Destroyers. Check out Gary Kurtz's list of credits on IMDb. www.imdb.com slash name slash nm0476030. Check out the Kurtz Joiner Archive. www.kurtzjoinerarchive.com slash archive. And check out Channel 1 with Fairy Broadcast Live Film www.channel138.com so geeks out everyone